Well, I'm Gilles Rollet, Express Master Development Director. Well, since we did the OTAS Cougar and then the OTAS Warthog, uh, the seamers pointed out that our grip was detachable. So, in that time, we get a lot of uh, requests for when will you do another grip. So, we asked them what they wanted as a new grip and they wanted 1-1 one, one replica, they wanted metal, they wanted quality on par with the uh, F16 grip and the A10C grip. We really care about respecting in the replica the weight, the size, and it need to be sturdy, you need to use industrial class component. We do several rounds of beta tests, several rounds of torture test. I mean we know they are spent a lot of time, hours and hours, months, is, uh, uh, years to play so it need to be studied. Realism is about touch and feel. Um, it's about the look but also touch and feel. About the look we must not betray uh, the uh, image of the replica. About the touch and feel we also need to replicate uh, each button uh, pressure uh, and it need to be realistic uh, and there is a lot of debate with the beta testers when we do that after numerous tests of con various components numerous uh, prototypes of sub-assembly uh, we end up to have a suitable solution for for those uh, testers there is some limit however to the replica spirit um, there's a difference between the situation of true pilot and the situation of seamers. True pilot, they are piloting with gloves and they have the G-force that they have to fight with, which you don't have when you're a seamer. We are first targeting our base of uh, Otas Cougar owner and Otas Warthog owner. There uh, is out there on the market uh, some competitor that we need, some base that can receive uh, our uh, F-16 and f 10 c uh, grip and therefore the F-A-18C on it. Uh, we cannot prevent them to uh, enjoy the uh, unequal uh, quality of our uh, F-A-18C. Uh. Well, we pay attention to the relation with the game developers and as much as we can, we encourage them to implement our joystick so that uh, we can get some native support, for instance in uh, DCS, this is what we get. So it's uh, kind of plug and play. And uh, in any case, we've got the target uh, programming file from Thrustmaster, where uh, Sirius can uh, program and map all their button and axes the way they want. They can merge uh, our joystick with our uh, ecosystem. Uh, so they've got all the solution. Yes, the, the FA-18C on it is very iconic and spectacular. Um, for instance, it's natural to try to use the FA-18C to go and land on an aircraft carrier, and this is spectacular. Um, collaboration with Boeing made it possible, because Boeing is the uh, owner of McDonnell Douglas, and um, this shape is very iconic, not only of F. FA-18C on it, but also with F-15 Strike Eagle, AB-8B Harrier. It has been always a process on continuous improvement and uh, we took into account uh, what was told about OTAS Warthog and potential improvement. For instance, the uh, trigger uh, some people um, uh, wanted a harder double detent trigger so that uh, you cannot press it by mistake. So you're going to press first and you're going to have to press harder to uh, initiate the double detent. So we've been working a lot on that with a lot of debate, lots of components being tested until we got the testers to be happy with it. The, um, Castle sensor hat has been uh, very steady to get the proper feeling on any direction. 
And we paid attention also to uh, the weapon sensors uh, so that you could really uh, move it in the four directions and press it. Uh, for sure people will like to uh, use FA-18C Hornet from Thrust Master um, with their OTAS on DCS 2.5 uh, and especially with the uh, FA-18 complete add-on. Uh, they can also uh, play it on X-Plane 11, on Prepare 3D4, uh, D4, on uh, Flight C-Max. Uh, they can uh, use uh, target or remapping the game to have the proper mapping for FA-18 in those games. Uh, beside this, uh, some will uh, uh, like to uh, use it between the legs uh, for warbirds, uh, like in IL-2 uh, Stormovich or in Birds of Prey um, and all the way to uh, War Thunder um, and some might even use it in uh, Ace Combat 7 uh, which is uh, featuring the uh, F-8 in uh, Super Hornet. By the way, the Super Hornet is also featuring a uh, stick that has the same shape. Speaking about Super Hornet, uh, there is a movie coming from Paramount. Uh, they are revamping Top Gun. And the star of the movie, not Tom Cruise, is the Super Hornet. And uh, it could be featuring this uh, stick, FA-18. Yeah, it has been um, a very uh, pleasing development, uh, sharing with um, testers, uh, among which we have true pilots, uh, true military uh, uh, pilot, and also uh, some seamers, and to exchange with them about um, the feeling, the quality, the balance uh, that we need to uh, reach. And the, the funny thing is starting uh, uh, with some difficulties uh, on the balance of this uh, stick. While making a first model in uh, full metal, uh, we had an issue about the balance and inertia. It's because the stick was falling down by its own weight. So we had to uh, make this part, about 85% of the weight, in metal, and to do this in uh, ABS resin, the head of it in order to have a balance that would not uh, affect the gameplay on the stick and we could uh, still use it on all existing base of our OTAS Warthog and OTAS Cougar owner. So making this uh, possible and please the community with the right balance was already the first headache on this development. So the, the key uh, recipe for this uh, product was 1-1 one, one replica, um, well balanced weight, 85% um, metal, uh, quality of the buttons and feeling of the buttons on par with uh, Cougar, Walter, TPR um, and a very iconic uh, shape. Realistic, versatile, outstanding. Well, I want to thank the community for their passion, for their loyalty, for your passions and for your understanding. <laughs>